من بعض كتائب من التوار بعقود للحفاظ على شواطئ البحر طبعا مش لدى وين وحوية رباط كان وصوم الري وطن كان وصل عني ويوروبا هاي حدنا ليليا نتشوفنا شيل خدي مدام نتشوفنا نورت وح عو ماذا حد ما هين We are not knowing anything and we don't know what's next and this place is not really safe for us Vice News travelled to Tripoli in Libya, a country divided by civil war and faction fighting. We heard that militias aligned with the self-proclaimed government are now rounding up and seizing migrants waiting to cross the Mediterranean Sea to Europe. We were granted access to a site where a faction of the controlling militia named Libya Dawn had just arrested hundreds of migrants and refugees. They were being held in an abandoned industrial site in the suburb of Tajura. When we arrived, hundreds of refugees from sub-Saharan Africa were detained outside of a disused warehouse. طبعا جتنا معلومة الساعة 2 في الليل من غرفة عمليات غرفة المشتركة عمليات تاجورة جتنا معلومة أن في هجرة غير شرعية في في مزرعة في غوت الرمان طلعنا قوة لباس بها تعتبر متاع من سبعة ثمانية سيارات أفراد ودهمنا المزرعة طبعا بدون مقاومة ما فيش مقاومة الأمور أنا ماشي الحمد لله لقينا فيها حوالي من السبعمية للتسعمية تقريبا مهاجرة طلبنا الحكومة أنها تجيه أنها كيف تجي نتعامل معهم وما شيء ما فيش إجابات أو لتوى من البارح ما فادونا بشيء نشوف الطليان والناس هذه الاتحاد الأوروبي باش بتعاوننا في الخدمة هذه إن شاء الله the women and children were separated from the men. The main reason I left my country was there is no future in there. There is no hope. We just become a soldier. You go for a war. We can't get out of the country legally. It's always illegal and they can kill you. So it was okay with us to cross the sea. We know a lot of people die there, but it's, we accepted it as Eritreans because our government can't help us. We came through Sahara. We lost direction. We finished our water and food after four days. After the eighth day, we reached Idabia and we were being beaten to pay 1,600. And after we paid, then they put you in a car and you travel through the night. And through the day, they just leave us in a cage, and anything can happen to us. After we reach Travelos, we gather like 400 people, 500 people, so that we can cross the border again, the sea, to Italy. We were sleeping. Four guys came. Everybody tried to run, and some boys protect the girls. One, they bit him on the head with the gun, and the other one on his neck and on his back and they told all the girls to stay in one corner. They took pictures of us. When we went out of the house, there was lots of cars, police cars, and big trucks. Then they put us in there, and then they brought us here. 
بنات تعبانين بنات يعني اجوا من بلاطهم مشان حرب وكعب الاول في بنات كثير شافوا الصحراء وشافوا الطريق اغتصاب كذا كذا بنات كثار تعبانين في حتى حلمه ولدت بالليبيا بالصحراء ما تقدر تولد مره ثانيه ما تقدر تجيب مره ثانيه تحتاج لعالجات تحتاج لمرضات بس شنو دايرنا كان دايرنا سريع سريع ما جينا لليبيا دايرنا نسافر كنا هنا قاعدين هنا اي حصلنا في المشاكل والاخر شنو ما عارفين Most of the refugees had fled from dictatorships and human rights abuses in Eritrea, Somalia and Sudan. In the middle of fighting a civil war, it wasn't immediately clear why these militias were getting involved in a humanitarian crisis. Libya's vast desert borders have long gone unpoliced, establishing the country as a major hub for smugglers and traffickers. In response, the EU threatened to bomb Libya's lawless coastline, targeting their smuggling networks. A government official in charge of combating migration told us what the self-proclaimed government were now doing to prevent military action. The circumstances that we are living in, even as Libyans are not allowed. The circumstances that we live in Libya, the result of the wars, the result of the wars, the result of the wars, حتى الليبي مش آمن روحه انه يروح لبيته مش آمن روحه انه يقعد في ليبيا كم من ليبي مهاجر خرج ليبيا وضع ليبيا الراهن لا يسمح بتطبيق القانون النهائي القاضي اللي بيحكم حيهدد وبقوة السلاح حياخذوه ممكن يتعرض للقتل لما تقول لي انت بكر على الحمايه هذه واحده من الحمايه لعد هذه اللحظه لم يقوم باي دعم مادي سواء من حكومه الانقاذ او من الاتحاد الاوروبي لم يصل هذا الجهاز اي دعم مادي نهائي. والجهاز مكتوف الايدي. ليبي الوقت اللي راح ان شاء الله تحمي نفسها. ضم بعض كتائب من التوار بعقود للشغل مع الجهاز. طبعا للحفاظ على شواطئ البحر طبعا. لمنع العبور الى اوروبا. This means that to help solve the refugee crisis in Libya, armed militias are now being funded and contracted by the National Salvation Government. To help us understand why the government had to resort to these measures, the immigration official invited us to see how bad the conditions were in a government run facility. A huge men's hall is packed with hundreds of migrants and refugees. So me, I spent almost here 21 days. We are having food, we are eating. But to go toilet is our problem. And many people are sick here. Some people, they are shitting in body. When we say we want to go to toilet, it's a problem. Every day they has beaten me. Look at my eye now. My hair is beating. They are shooting some people. I swear. Not lying, because I see it from my eye. The situation is, as he told you, before. if I told more and more, they may beat us after they go. I can't stop more. You can just help, help, help as, as time. Help, help, help. I, can't, I can't say anything yet. Next, the guards led us to an enclosure filled with women. Gumashu yet are the 
የታረዱ በባህር ላይ ስንቱ እንደ ተጣለ የሰው ልጅ በሜዳ እንደ በግ የታረደ ነው ሳራን በረሃን መከራና ስቃያችንን በልተ ይሁድልናል ህይወታችንን ለውጣለን ብለን እዚ ተነስተን መተማር እህቶቻችን እየታረዱ ወንድሞቻችን እየታረዱ ነው እዚ ቀንና ለዲት ነው የሚደበደቡት ቀንና ለዲት ነው እየተፈራረቁባቸው የሚደበደቡትና እኛ ይሄ መንግስት መዳይ በለን እኛ አገርም ሄደንም ወደ አገርም አንገርምኛ እዚ ቦታ ማንም መቶ የሚጠይቀን ይለም እኛ አገር ሄደንም ወደ አገራችን አንመለስም ጉልበታችን አልቋል ደክመን አልኛ ካሁን በኋላ ወደ አገራችን ብንመለስ ተቀባይ የለንምኛ ይሄንን መንግስት መፍቴ እንዲፈጥርልን ለመንግስት ጨዋታችን እንናቀርባለን እኛ እናታ አባት ሄደንም ይቀበለንም ይለንም አገርም ይለንምኛ Human rights groups have reported widespread abuse in detention centers throughout Libya. We went to ask Nasir Hazam, the head of this government facility, about his methods for keeping control. First, he was keen to show how organized they were despite being over capacity. <laughs> ضمات حقوق الانسان خصوصا ان هي مثلا امور هذه الاداء بالنسبه للمهاجرين او الضرب وما وكذا مش موجود فيه عندي شيء هو لكن في حاجه نقولها لك في اخطاء تصير مش اخطاء هي عقاب في الفترة الماضية احنا من نهار 12 5 ولا تاريخ هذا قبضنا على حوالي ما يقارب من 3000 مهاجر شرعي. بتعرف هذا بتخلي الامور فوضى. بيصبح معاش امور ضربة، يصبح قتل ورفس و... لكن هم ما يبون يشدوا عليهم العبء اللي هم خايفين منه يبون يشدوا احنا. احنا مرات ما ما احنا لو خلوا البحر مفتوح ما بيقعد لنا حد هنا. كلها يلقوهم في البحر ما عندنا شيء هنا كلها موجودة في البحر. صح ولا مش صح؟ Smuggling networks have taken advantage of karma seas over the summer months, and record numbers are trying to leave Libya's shores to make the deadly crossing to Europe. With the self-proclaimed government willing to work with militias exploiting the migrant crisis, the detained refugees have become a valuable commodity and a political bargaining chip. UN peace talks are ongoing between Libya's two conflicting governments, one that's internationally recognized and exiled in the city of Tobruk, and the other self-proclaimed in Tripoli. If managing the migrants offers an opportunity to be integrated officially into border security, this could help the militias maintain and extend their power should a unity government be formed. At the militia-run camp, it's been days since a group of migrants and refugees were seized from smugglers. They're now being kept inside a metal warehouse in soaring summer temperatures. اليوم ثلاث ايام موجودين معنا هنايا فاطمه رئيس الوزراء وحكومه القاضي الوطني للاسف لكن ما فيش استجابه توفوا منهم ثلاثه وفي زوج نساء حتى ما عميت جهاد وطفلين حتى ما توفوا كيف تجيب لي قنبله مقوطه من البشري وتقعد في المكان هذا تعتبر هذا وباء
As the militia deal out the rest of the food, some of the migrants explain the conditions they've been living in. We came from Sudan. We are captured in Sahara by bandits. We are daily beaten by the bandits. And we pay $2,800. And we are coming to this place. There is not enough water. Enough food. So many people are in a very bad condition. Maybe some people will not continue tomorrow. Lots of money, we can punish it and we will happen. If you have any solution, or give me a solution or buy the other nation. The women had been separated from the men. Ahmed takes us to where they had been moved to. We had the nisa, Adi, and the children. We had the women and the babies, and one and one, we brought them, we took them. The children. This was a place where the Muslims were. Come on, come on. This is the hammam. We were here. It was a miracle. One who knew the miracle, he knew Allah. كيف بنزل لهم انا تو امه؟ اسره واولاده واطفال ونساء حوامل يجيبوا لهم في شوف بيبي بيبي جيب له حليب وجيب له شمالات وجيب له قداش نصرف عليه انا؟ نتوكلوا الجناح الثاني تشوف فيه حتى والعنبر الثاني مازال فيه مجموعه نساء حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل وخلاص في تجار البشر هذا We sleep about like 12, 13 people. It's really hot, but we have no choice. We leave this room alone because lots of Libyans come in, so we are also scared. So we stay a lot of girls so that if they pull one girl, we can help her out. Uh, when they see the cameramans, they will tell each other, shh, there's camera everywhere. So they will start giving food, water, and everything. They will act nice. But when you guys go, there will be guns everywhere. They will have stick. They will start talking really, really rude. They start abusing us really, really mean words. And we don't eat regularly. We don't have food diet. Sometimes they give us food, sometimes they don't. But the boys, they don't eat at all. Lots of boys come in. We're not secure. We're really, really scared because we, we don't trust them. We don't know what's next. And this place is not really safe for us as girls.
اصبحنا الامن المركزي فرع شمال طرابلس Ils ont tiré deux gars sur le pic. Mais ils ne nous ont pas demandé ni papier ni quoi comme ça. Là. Ils nous ont payé. We'd rather die than to stay here. This is like. We're like dead people here. 